Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're gonna take a look into one of the most popular Linux OS, which is Chrome OS. Chrome OS is the most popular OS from the Linux kernel as we all know one of the most powerful application right now is Chrome aside from others like we have the Apple computers Mac and of course the Microsoft Windows but of course in Linux we have also the most popular OS aside from different types of distribution or distro that we have in the desktop environment aside from the mobile devices that we have which is the Android operating system still under the Linux kernel and of course we don't have any uh, welcome page right here so let's just go to our desktop user interface so we have our start menu button or the app launcher right here on the lower bottom left we have on the center we have the quick launch applications and right here on the bottom right corner we have the notification area of course right now we're screen recording it right now plus the phone hub and of course other notification like the microphone in use right now the time and date and the Wi-Fi and the battery that I have how much battery do I have right now it is 87 percent we have three hours and 33 minutes left and of course we also have the Wi-Fi the network the screen recording capture and picture that we have the don't disturb screencast if we have some different devices that is connected we have a volume control right here and our brightness and of course we could like click on the arrows right here for more information like for this audio that we have I have the USB and the internal uh, speakers for the output for the input the same with the external and internal microphones that I have so right now I'm using the external microphone which is connected to the USB uh, device that I have and of course I forgot this one uh, on the device we have also the live captions the live captions this is for the abilities the hearing impaired and we also have the visually impaired if you access it right here in our devices as I said this is a Linux so our application right here all the Linux apps right here including our playbook play movies YouTube Gmail and all those stuff like the messenger calendar meet store web store okay let's try to look for some web store right here okay so we have our super talks right here the stick man the pac-man we also have the terminal yes we still have the terminal every computer has a terminal windows mac any devices we still have the terminal so how to set up of course visit the developer management of the linux just click this one and then of course we will try to set it up of course we will try to change the username right here chrome linux username we have allocated like 10 gigabytes maybe we'll create like more than 10 maybe like 20 so it is now installing our system for the terminal Linux the terminal is the application right here on the Linux kernel it will be finished in a while after several minutes so right now we have our terminal set up right here okay so let's try to check our NeoFetch if we could like NeoFetch if not we'll try to install it sudo space apt install 
Neo fetch. Okay. Cool. Let's neo fetch this one first. Okay, so we have our neo fetch right now. So it is Debian base bookworm, and it is a Linux kernel 6.6. .6. Wow! So this is one of the latest. Ah, okay. Let's try to uh, update this one. sudo apt update. Okay, so we have all our needs right here. Let's exit this one. Cool. So if you're wondering what is the counterpart of the Microsoft Word in Google Chrome OS, we have the docs for the documents. And of course, let's try to check onto the slides. As you can see, I have a lot of slides presentation. Not only that, but also let's try to look into the sheets. Okay, let's close this one. We already have that one in the web. So we also have the TikTok right here. Photo P for our editing. Photo editing, that is. LibreOffice at the same time, we have this one. We also have the cut the ropes application game. We have the word search and of course the music that we have, the Spotify. So that is our application. So let's check the build if we have some new updates. Okay, we have our uh, version 125.0. So as you can see, this is our operating system. CPU right now, we have eight threads, 4.20 gigahertz, and it's using only like 10 to 20 memory. I have 12 gigabytes of random access memory. It also just using like less than six gigabytes. So cool. How about if we are looking for some customization in our desktop? So we have all the blank space right here. So we'll try to right click the mouse and then set the wallpaper and style. So we could like change like the light version or the dark mode version. We have also the accent color. So I like this one. How about to change the wallpaper? So let's try to look into this cityscape. Cool. How about another one? Okay, I think I prefer this one. It's cartoonish. Okay, let's try to look for more. Like the cityscape. Let's look for something else. Ooh, how about this one? Ooh, this is cool. All right. So you have all those stuff right here. So conclusion. On this operating system the Chrome OS operating system it is easy to install but it is not a advisable for dual booters it is a single boot but if you want to have a dual boot it's a little bit like complex to install uh, regarding the interface it is like hybrid between the Mac and the Windows. It has its own, uh, you know, different types of installation, but it's still in a Chrome Android OS operating system. Uh, learning curve, of course, very, very easy. It is very easy. Nothing to like to be like scared of. <laughs> Basically, it is very, very easy. So if you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to your friends. 
this is your teacher your computer and science teacher right here in Konken University demonstration school for international division bye for now and see you in the next episode of OS and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool ciao